Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Sue Rakofsky, and with me is Executive Director of the DEI, DEI office yes. at St. Clair County Community College. Explain us what DEI is. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Got it. Yes. So what does your office do, Jessica? So the office was established uh, around 2021, okay. um, and it was established literally from the ground up. Mm -hmm. Our president of uh, St. Clair County Community College, Dr. Snyder, wanted to um, have an office that represented inclusivity, so we promoted a mission that we're committed um, for all of our student, staff, faculty, and community members that okay. we're going to come together and offer resources that will help all of the community come, to come together in a variety of ways to discuss uh, DEI-related topics and how that affects us as a community. Okay. Um, and so we're relatively new in this program. What, what kind of results have you seen in the community? Um, the community has been awesome. Okay. Uh, when we first started, obviously, you know, a lot of topics can become uncomfortable. Mm. Uh, talking about biases, racism, understanding how we can come together as a community and have a voice. But I wanted to establish a culture where we can come together and be able to have these conversations in non-judgmental ways. Absolutely. That we are all on the same page. We want to understand each other's perspective. But at the same time, what are the needs of our different groups of the community? Um, so within this program, uh, we designed a platform to have discussions. So okay. we have book discussions. We've had many book discussions. Uh, we have podcasts. So we've done podcasts about uh, racial injustices, understanding and honoring our men and women in uniform, mm -hmm. understanding marginalized communities and what that means, um, understanding our gay community and what that means for our uh, educational system to come, come together and educate our students. So okay. we've offered trainings, which is called Safe Zone. Um, it's the opportunity to have trainings about our LGBTQ, uh, QI community and um, this is just a wonderful opportunity to say, hey, we can be a safe space to have these conversations, Absolutely. receive the training. Um, so you can listen to a podcast on your way to work. Mm -hmm. You can take part in a book discussion. We've had a lot of book discussions, and we're also developing a mentorship program. It's oh. Strive, okay. which enables students to receive workshop development, career advancement, um, faculty and community mentorship, mm -hmm. so we can connect you to resources within the community. Not only are we talking about the concerns of the community, but we're reaching out. Okay. So that's really a great package. I'm really, you know, I'm really impressed. I mean, the things you're telling me sound like uh, an office that would be, you know, in a very large college. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty blessed to have this at our local community college. Yeah, and we want to expand. Okay, wow. And even impressed. with our universities, I mean, we pattern our mission mm -hmm. on a four-year level, university level, and that's where uh, we don't want to stop. Okay. And, and think just minimally. We want to expand ourselves and expand the community. We also have cultural heritage mm -hmm. acknowledgements. Uh, we've reached out to our indigenous community. We've reached out to our Hispanic community, our African American community, um, because we want everyone to get to know each other. Okay. Very good. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and you talk about book discussions. Well, we've got one coming up, so uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back on Spotlight. Introducing McLaren Now, our new app that lets you speak face-to-face -face with a board-certified doctor from wherever you are. You can receive care and even prescriptions 24-7 with no appointment necessary. Get started at mclarennow.org. Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm continuing my discussion with Jessica Brown. In the first segment, we talked about all the things your office is doing. I'm super impressed. You do a lot of book discussions to promote uh, more discussion. Yes. Tell me about that. So we have actually a book discussion coming up. Um, it is with our best-selling New York best-selling author, okay. Mr. Andrew Marinus. Um, he will be here September 20th um, from 6 to 8. We actually have a full day with him uh, talking to different community groups, uh, talking to our students, uh, talking to our athletes. And um, he is actually, this book came out in 2014, and he follows the story of Mr. Perry Wallace, the first African-American basketball player mm. uh, from Vanderbilt University. And okay. he, he travels his story about uh, in the 1960s with the civil rights movement and all the racial barriers that he had to overcome. Wow. And it really walks you through his life. It's an excellent book. It really trails what it truly means to overcome barriers, overcome the odds, determination. And the other thing that I want to uh, reinforce within our book discussions is that there's a message in history for a reason. But how can we establish ourselves within history 
to be better mm -hmm. and come together more. Sure. And this book really takes you there. We've had other book discussions on blind spot. How as good people we can acknowledge that we all have biases mm -hmm. and okay. that it's okay. Sure but how can we acknowledge it and then be able to talk about it? Okay. So our book discussions again um, with the event happening September 20th, it will be at our Fine Arts Theater. Everyone is welcome to attend. We have books that we're giving away and we also are gonna have uh, the books available for sale. Okay. Um, he also has had other books, yes. so Singled Out. Um, it's about the first African-American gay baseball player. Okay. He has a new book that's just released, The Inaugural Baller, which talks about our U.S. Olympic women's team in the 1970s. So that's going to be an so awesome book. So obviously a sports fan. Sports fan indeed. <laughs> okay. So we want to reach, um, especially our athletes, mm -hmm. um, really you can tailor it and kind of connect it to certain groups. But it's really for everybody to come together and just, again, listen to these stories that are so powerful. All right. Well, again, where can people find out more information? So you can go to the DEI webpage, sc4.edu slash DEI. Um, we have all the information about uh, the book discussion event. Okay. Uh, will it be held in our Fine Arts Theater? He's going to have a personal book signing from 5 to 545. Nice. So you can bring the book. You don't have to have read the book uh, to participate in the discussion. And then from 6 to 8, he will discuss the book, walk us through Perry's journey, and it's going to be an excellent day. Neat. Sounds like a great event. So keep up the great work. So thank many you. great things happening in our community. Thank you so much. All right. And thank you for watching this edition of Spotlight. Mm -hmm.